Thank you for tuning in to Natty News Daily Weekly, where we cover the latest ongoings in natural bodybuilding. If you see a cool story you think we should cover, please send it away, and maybe we'll include it in the next episode. And if you like what we're doing and would like to support us, please consider checking out one of our sponsors. Our sponsor, Core Nutritionals, for all your supplement needs. Code Natty News Daily, as well as Gym Pin. If you want to add weight to the machines in your gym, if you're running out of room, check out Gym Pin. Also, code Natty News Daily. Enjoy the episode. All right, guys. James here again for Natty News Daily Weekly, your weekly episode segment, whatever I like to call this, where I bring you the news of the week in the natural bodybuilding world. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am a day behind on my recording schedule. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but I knew I had to get an episode out this week. Haven't missed one yet. I'm going to stick to that schedule in some regards. And we've had some big news this week that I felt like, man, I don't care how late it is. It's like 10 p.m. at the time of recording this. You guys don't care. You just want to hear the news. I got two stories. I thought this first one, which you can see if you're looking at the screen right now, I thought this first one was going to be a big story. And then we just had like a bombshell drop today as well. So. Strap in. It's going to be a fun one. Sharing from our own page, the Nana News Daily page, but obviously from OCB, as you can see, the OCB, my biggest criticism, I've said it multiple different times with the OCB, has been there's been no international affiliates, right? So if you want it to be my, you know, the top level bodybuilders want to compete against the top level bodybuilders. I'm not putting myself in that bracket by any means. But when I looked at competing for myself and for my athletes, I always wanted them to face against the best. OCB has some great domestic athletes. However, it ends there, right? The Jordan Cup, completely domestic athletes, which is unfortunate because OCB has some good shows. They have some good promoters. They do some things right. Wouldn't mind supporting them more. Um my critique has always been there's no international affiliates. So I just reported a couple of weeks ago, if not last week, that they brought on OCB Australia. And here we are, OCB Spain. Now, if you remember around world's time, WMBF world's time, it was made aware that Kevin Hernandez, prior lightweight WMBF world champion, had failed the WMBF Spain polygraph. As a result, was banned from the WMBF. Now, the timeline of that ban, I'm not sure if it's forever. He's made it a little bit clear that there are some grudges now there. Maybe he doesn't want to go back to the WMBF. And I think it kind of coincides that he then turned OCB pro, and now there's an OCB Spain, right? So I think we can put two and two together here, what's going on. But now, OCB, two international affiliates within the span of two weeks, Obviously, they've been working on this in the background for a while. Um, it will be very interesting to see what comes of this, this specific show, and if this is like a pathway forward for them to gain that kind of international accreditation, if you will. Right. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that. However, not to dismiss this story, right? This is big. They're growing their federation. I think this next story I'm about to cover is just going to make it all redundant anyway. So we are all aware the Natural Bodybuilding Federations, it's like crabs in a barrel. Everybody's fighting with each other. There's a lot of petty squabbles. There's a lot of personal beef. Um, the generation that's in charge of the federations doesn't get along. And they might have just shot themselves in the foot because... The guys at Natty News, we've been saying it for a while. If the NPC, with all their money, all their connections, all their pipelines, their awesome systems in place, their show production, if they want to take over the natural realms, they have the power to do so pretty expeditiously. Well, you might have seen this circulating on the Go Figure podcast. We have promoter and judge Ron Hash. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I might not be. That doesn't matter as much. So he was interviewed talking about the natural side of the NPC and the IFBB, right? Up until now, there's been what, like one or two, like Dave Lieberman has an NPC natural show. Um, CPA has some natural shows and that's where Ron comes from. 
Um, so there's a handful of NPC natural shows, but the natural is in some like really heavy air quotes, big asterisks, right? Like a lot of questionable testing. If there is testing done, are we just collecting fees and not doing testing? It looks like seemingly from this caption and this podcast that they are doubling down on the natural realm and trying to legitimize it, which is a threat to every single natural federation. I don't care which federation it is. Y'all got to get your stuff figured out because the big boys are coming. So if you read the caption, it says Ron is passionate about building the natural movement and in recent discussions with Vice President Tyler Mannion has Plans there to be at least one natural regional show in every state slash country inside and outside the U.S. They're not talking about one or two shows. They're talking about a complete mirror image of the NPC as it stands for the naturals. They're talking about including a pro national qualifier and making the Ben Wider naturals like the natural Olympia, their flagship show. In addition, if you listen to this podcast, they talk about legitimizing, and again, legitimizing in air quotes because there's some that hate this, some that love this, some that are going to say this is the move, some are going to say this is just for show. They talk about using the polygraph. So they're doing the things that the top natural feds are doing. Now, what I want to see, is it all talk? When will this plan be unrolled? Will they actually do the polygraph in the U.S.? Will they post or actually do the urine analysis in season, off season? What are the rules? What are the criteria? What are we testing for? What panel are we using? How long do you have to be natural? These are all questions that remain unanswered. But I think this needs to put every single natural federation on alert that if you guys don't start working together, it won't matter because in two years, you're going to be gone, right? The NPC has power. The IFBB has power. They control the enhanced side of the sport. They have thousands and thousands and thousands of athletes, supporters, followers, media exposure, prize money, corporate sponsorships, legitimate supplement sponsorships for their athletes, like everything that the naturals want. And if they start giving the natural field that through their venues and their systems, it's game over, simply put. So Natural Federation's got to step up and step up quick. You got to start putting plans in place to start paying your athletes more, to start increasing show production value, to start doing things right and treating your professionals as professionals, because otherwise your professionals are going to leave. It's already happening. You have not been directly competing with the NPC and the IFBB yet, but yet we're already losing naturals to the NPC just out of awareness of the natural side of the sport. If you truly go in and are now trying to actually compete, if the NPC wants to compete truly with naturals to claim the natural realm, you're in for fight. That's for sure. So I don't know how I feel about it, truthfully. I would like to see the sport move in the right direction. I'm not sure if the individuals in charge of this federation versus that federation have the right mindset or are listening enough to the athletes. I'm not sure if the NPC would listen to their athletes because they haven't needed to, at least in the enhanced side, because where else are the enhanced athletes going to go, right? So this is um, it's a wake-up call. It's interesting for sure. We're going to see what happens with this. And I want to hear what you guys think, right? Will you be competing in PC natural? Are you diehard INBA, PNBA, WNBF, OCB? Like, where are you competing? Are you going to compete across the board? Does this pique your curiosity? If they start throwing prize money, are you moving ship? We don't know. I guess time will tell, right? So I want to hear your comments. I want to see a discussion on this one for sure. Comment, like, subscribe, share, let the people know, and I will see you guys in the next one.